In the heart of ancient Egypt, where the sands of time have hidden countless secrets, a sensational discovery has sent shockwaves through the world of archaeology and history. Unearthed from the depths of the past, this enigmatic revelation has left researchers and scholars astounded, redefining our understanding of this storied civilization. Join us as we embark on a captivating journey into the realm of Egypt's secret, where a breathtaking and mysterious find has the power to rewrite the annals of history and stir the imagination of explorers and enthusiasts alike. On number 10, we have lifelike mummy portraits. Archaeologists were excavating an Acropolis in the ancient Egyptian city of Philadelphia when they came across two entire mummy portraits and several partial pictures of persons who were buried in the cemetery. In addition, they discovered two complete mummy portraits. Because it would have been expensive to purchase unique paintings of the dead back in that era, the researchers believed that the people who passed away belonged to a middle class or high social class. As a result of looting, it is very uncommon for archaeologists to locate mummy pictures. The most recent ones were found in the 1880s. Looting is a major problem in many ancient civilizations. On number 9, we have a temple dedicated to the deity Zeus Casios. The ruins of a temple that was devoted to Zeus Casios were discovered by archaeologists working at the Tel El Farama site in the Sinai Peninsula. This deity was a hybrid of Zeus and the god of the weather known as Kazios. The temple was found by researchers when they saw pieces of two pink granite columns jutting out of the ground. These columns, which the researchers think probably supported the front gate of the temple, but likely fell in ancient times as a result of a large earthquake, led to the discovery of the temple. Mummies with golden tongues are shown on the number eight. Mummies were often interred with gold tongues throughout the Greco-Roman era since it was a prevalent practice at the time. The ancient Egyptians thought that by carrying out this practice, it would assist the departed in their transition into divine creatures in the hereafter. At a dig site at an old cemetery near Quesna, which is located just north of Cairo, a group of archaeologists discovered many examples of a particular burial procedure that was unique to the area. The tomes also included a wide variety of grave goods, including jewelry, vases, and golden scarabs, which are beetles. On number 7, we have Falcon Shrine and a cryptic message about boiling heads. In Berenike, a port on the Red Sea, archaeologists came upon a 1,700-year-old shrine that included 15 headless falcons on a pedestal and a stone monument that depicted two unknown gods. This discovery presented the archaeologists with a conundrum that left them scratching their heads. In one of the shrine's rear chambers, the researchers discovered an inscription written in Greek that stated, it is improper to boil a head in here. This phrase was the thing that absolutely astounded the researchers. Next to the pedestal, they discovered an iron harpoon. On number six, we have a gold ring featuring the likeness of the god of fun. Even the ancient Egyptians had a good time, as shown by the discovery of this new piece of evidence. Archaeologists discovered a treasure trove of gold artifacts while excavating a burial site in the city of Akitaten, modern-day Amarna, which is located south of Cairo. The treasures included a necklace and three rings made of gold. One item of jewelry stood out from the others due to an etching of Bess, who is also known as the God of Fun. Throughout Egypt, antiquated depictions of the God of Fun may be seen in various locations. He is often portrayed as a short man who not only liked to party and perform music, but also helped mothers when they were giving birth to their children. On number five, we have protective childbirth tattoos. Ancient Egyptian women would obtain tattoos as a sort of protection for delivery before they gave birth. This practice was common practice. During the course of their research on the mummies that were buried at Deir el Medina, an archaeological site that is situated on the banks of the Nile River, archaeologists found six cases of this method. Finding ancient tattoos is very rare due to the fact that the skin would need to be kept, and it is standard procedure for archaeologists not to unwrap mummies. However, in this instance, parts of the bodies were revealed, including the lower back of a lady whose old ink bore a representation of the god Bess, who was believed to protect women when they were giving birth. On number four, we have Vast Water Tunnel. Tapazaris Magna is an ancient city situated west of Alexandria, Egypt. 
Archaeologists recently uncovered a tunnel under a temple in the site that was 1,305 meters in length. It is believed that the enormous tunnel was formerly used to convey water to the local population at one point in time. The tunnel is an identical copy of the Eupolinos Tunnel, which is located on the island of Samos in Greece and is regarded as an engineering wonder. On number three, we have birds in an Egyptian masterpiece. The level of detail in a painting that dates back 3,300 years and depicts birds both in flight and sitting close to a marsh allowed researchers from the contemporary day to utilize a replica of the painting to identify the precise species that were shown in the original. It wasn't until recently that researchers identified the species depicted in the work, including a pied kingfisher, a red-backed shrike, and a white wagtail. The masterpiece was discovered by archaeologists a century ago on the walls of a palace at the ancient Egyptian capital of Amarna. On number two, we have new understanding of mummification. The traditional thinking of mummification that is taught in classrooms today has been completely refuted by archaeological research. The ancient Egyptians didn't bury their dead in order to keep their bodies preserved. Rather, they did so as a method of leading the souls of the departed towards divinity. The ancient Egyptians buried their dead in order to keep their bodies preserved. This new information, which is referred to by archaeologists as a complete 180, will be the principal topic of an exhibition that will be named Golden Mummies of Egypt, and it will make its premiere in the early years of 2023 at the Manchester Museum in England, which is linked with the University of Manchester. The tomb of an unknown queen comes up at number one on our list. On the same day that the 100th anniversary of the discovery of King Tut's tomb was celebrated, a team of archaeologists unearthed the burial site of Queen Neith. There was much mystery around the identity of the royal figure known as Queen Neith. The discovery was discovered in an archaeological site known as Sakura, which is located close to Giza. This is the first time that she has been referenced in any of the archaeological documents. Researchers came across a huge number of mummies and coffins during their hunt for King Tut's tomb. Some of the corpses belonged to King Tut's most loyal generals and advisors. The tomb itself was also uncovered by the team. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey into the mysteries of ancient Egypt. If you're as fascinated by history and archaeology as we are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any updates on Egypt's secret and other incredible discoveries. Stay tuned for more captivating revelations and adventures, and until next time, keep exploring and unraveling the secrets of our world. Goodbye.